Title, Casanova's rap sheet adds 15-year beat, gavel drops on racketeering and narcotics charges. T.L. D.R. Rapper Casanova, born Caswell Sr., faces the music and it ain't his usual fire beat. The dude gets a 15-year prison sentence for racketeering and drug trafficking. Plus, he's found guilty of involvement in a 2020 Florida shooting and a 2018 NYC robbery. The cherry on top? His ties to the untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation gang. Now, here's a turntable scratch to think about. Imagine getting famed for spitting lyrics and making bops, then having to trade the recording studio for a prison cell. That's what went down with Casanova, left right arrow. U.S. Attorney Damian Williams didn't mince words when he explained the sentencing decision. According to him, Casanova wasn't just making hits on the charts, he was a high-profile leader of a vicious street gang and a magnet for gang violence. He was involved in a Miami house party shootout, where his bullets could have ended a life. The horror. But wait, there's more. Apparently, Casanova's street cred was instrumental in the Gorilla Stone's nationwide expansion. Williams goes on to emphasize that the sentencing reflects the grim fate awaiting those involved in gang life. Well, dang. Is the gangster life really worth it, folks? Now let's talk about some twist in the plot. Just before his sentencing, Casanova declared he had cut ties with the Gorilla Stone Nation and even had thoughts about, well, checking out early. In a letter to District Judge Philip M. Halpern, the rapper disclosed that he wanted out of the gang life before his arrest, and he was now officially out. Dot. But the real gut punch? His father passed away from cancer while he was behind bars. He admitted he had been putting on a strong front, while inside he was crumbling. This raises a question, how much does society understand the burden and struggles of a life in limelight intertwined with gang affiliation? Casanova insisted that he was not involved in the gang's daily activities and was not anyone's boss. He claimed that he regretted being a poster boy for the gang he was trying to leave. So, was he a victim of his past haunting him, or was he unable to fully detach from it? The rapper has been behind bars since December 2020, after being named as one of 18 untouchable Gorilla Stone Nation gang members in a large RICO case. So here's the real kicker, how many more high-profile artists are living double lives that are yet to be exposed? Let's not forget that this is a cautionary tale. Sure, it's got all the ingredients of a viral news story, but let it serve as a wake-up call. Gangster life might seem glorified in rap songs, but real-life repercussions? Not so glorious. So, the big question for you is, are you still vibing to Casanova's tracks knowing the backstory, or has this news scratched his records for good in your playlist?